What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success, and in this video here, I'm going to show you how I manage all the inventory for my clothing brand. I'm going to talk to you about how I know which sizes to purchase for each item, and all of that's going to be covered here. I want to let you know that I have a new marketing course coming out soon. You can check out the teaser for it at clothingbrandmarketing.com and join the waitlist so that you don't miss the early bird pricing for it. Otherwise, let's get cracking. This YouTube channel here is sponsored by my buds over at Brand Crowd. And Brand Crowd's sick because they have a huge library of already professionally designed logos that you can customize. You can add your own fonts, your own layout to it. All of that's free to try. Then if you decide that you like the logo that you've made, you can decide to purchase it, remove it from the marketplace so that it's yours. If you're interested, follow the link in the description below because it'll give you a huge discount. All right, inventory, McGinventory, Sinventory. That's what they should call it because it was an absolute sin the way that I was managing my inventory the first two years that I was running my clothing brand. And the reason why it was a sin is because I was carrying way too many of the wrong sizes that my audience just simply doesn't order. The sizes that just simply don't work for my audience. And I'd have a lot of inventory that was moving because it was the right sizes. And then I'd be holding on to so many sizes that my audience just simply doesn't purchase. And so I want to make sure that you don't make that same mistake for your clothing brand because it's a lot, a lot of wasted money and it's just something that can make your clothing brand run a lot smoother if you have this down. I also have a lot of really good tips for you when it comes to how to know exactly which sizes to order for your own clothing brand based on your own specific audience, okay? So to start out this video here, I just wanna give you a general sort of breakdown of how I store my inventory for my own clothing brand and then we'll get into the sizes and how I go about actually ordering these specific sizes and managing it. Where exactly do I keep the numbers for all this stuff and how I do all that, okay? So basically the way that I store this is these are all my hoodies. I don't have nearly as many hoodies as I normally have because it's the end of winter right now and I sold most of them here in Canada during our Black Friday sales, our Boxing Day sales and just throughout the winter here, it's just coming to an end, but generally, if this is our this is our black crest hoodie here, and we'll do smalls at the top, mediums, large, extra large, double extra large, and I make sure to fold all of these individually here. Okay, so all these are folded individually, and I do this, I organize it this way, because it makes it really easy when I'm going to pack orders to actually just know exactly where everything is. I don't have to unfold it from everything whenever I want one, and it's just ready to go ready to pack and ready to ship out. If you're wondering where we got these racks to hold all the inventory for our clothing brand, we got them at Uline and they're a bit expensive, but I think that it's more than worth it, especially if you get to the point where you're holding on to all this inventory. Um, it's better than holding it on the floor or making your own shelves or something like that. It's just worth it to do it the right way. And I highly recommend it if you have, you know, even close to this amount of inventory to really help you when it comes to organizing. Here's a quick tip that'll be extremely useful for you. When you get your clothing from your suppliers and it's ready to go, ready to sell, sometimes it will come looking like this where it's kind of all folded together. When you get it like that, be sure to unfold it and fold each single item individually. This makes it so much easier when it comes time to actually send out your orders and pack your orders to find each sizing on the shelves so that you're not ripping apart clothing and you know getting it all unorganized all over your shelving. So when it comes to how to know which sizes to order for each of the items that we're ordering and that we're making for our clothing brand, it really depends on who exactly our ideal customer is for that particular item because obviously our clothing brand itself has a general audience that we're selling to, but then within that audience, there are different segments that we sell to. There are guy products, there are girl products, there are unisex products, and depending on whichever it is that we're making, we have to be thinking about which sizes we need to make based on who exactly we're selling to within our audience. So when it comes to our hoodies, since our hoodies are unisex, this means that we can order more general sizing. We can order pretty much the same amount of smalls, mediums, larges, extra larges, and that's because we sell the same amount to guys and girls. And the girls generally order a lot of the smalls, a lot of the mediums, and the guys will pick up the larges, the extra larges, and the double extra larges. This is generally, obviously. 
And this way, when we order these unisex items, we generally tend to sell fairly equally right through all of the sizes. Now, when we're ordering items specifically for men, like our tank tops, these are our men's tanks, so we don't sell these to ladies. These are only for men's. And when it comes to these tanks, we've gotten really, really specific about the sizes that we order. So what I wanna do is break down for you this new order that we just placed for our new men's tees. And I'm wearing one right now, it's a two-sided tee. And I just wanna show you the new method that we're going about when it comes to which sizes we're coming out with for our men's stuff. And the first thing that I wanna mention here is that if you're coming out with a new product for your clothing brand, definitely order the minimum order quantity. If you haven't tested the market out yet, if you don't know how it's gonna do, and you literally haven't seen real life evidence that people are willing to buy it, then go with the minimum order quantity at first, try to sell it. If it flies off the shelf, then you can always just order more later. But a huge issue that most clothing brand owners face is that they just order way too much inventory kind of having this delusion that they're gonna be able to sell it just because it's their own product, but they really haven't tested it and you really wanna get that real life evidence first before you invest in a ton of inventory. So that's what we did here. We ordered the minimum order quantity and one thing that we discovered running our clothing brand is that we don't sell a lot of smalls to men, okay? The men in our audience just do not buy smalls. And so what we've, a big mistake that we've made is we're sitting on a ton of inventory that are smalls because we made that mistake ourselves of just ordering way too many smalls when it's not the designs that people don't like, it's just simply that size that we're holding on to that people aren't buying, okay? So what we did with this batch here is with our smalls, we decided to literally come out with two smalls. So maybe there are two men who want to buy this t-shirt that are willing to buy it in size small and we have those sizes here for you. If we run out of them, to be honest, it's really not that big of a deal because most of the people who are buying our clothing within our audience that are men are buying sizes large and extra large, okay? So we've, we've gone with two small here, five medium, 10 large, seven extra large, and then two double extra large. And this is for a new product, okay? It's just being safe. And the reason why we're doing this, such low quantity, is because we've learnt through failures and mistakes of ordering way too much inventory before on new items that simply don't sell. Obviously, there have been items in the past that we came out with and they flew and we were like, oh no, we need more inventory, but we'd way rather have that problem than have the problem in the opposite direction where you have too much inventory and you can't sell it, right? You'd way rather have it where you sell out and now there's a scarcity, people want to buy it but it's not available because somebody got to it first, that's a way better problem to have than holding on to way too much inventory that you can't sell. Now when it comes to our ladies stuff, this is a completely different story because with ladies, our best selling size is actually size small. So when it comes to placing an order for our ladies stuff, we actually went eight small, eight medium, five large and four extra large. And with ladies, it tends to be more evenly distributed. With guys, those smalls are really, really a killer for you when it comes to getting too much inventory and not being able to sell it. Now, if your audience is completely different and your audience tends to be smaller guys, you know, my clothing brand's for rural Canada, so it tends to be a lot of big burly men who drink a lot of beers and, you know, everybody's just kind of a lot bigger then maybe if your audience is for smaller guys, then you do sell a lot of smalls and that's a good thing and you can order more smalls that way. But for my own clothing brand, based on what we've been selling, and this is really sort of a nice little transition into the next part of this video, based on what we've sold, we look at our data and we see what are the sizes that we've sold the most of and we tallied up all the different numbers. So how many smalls in the t-shirts have we sold? How many mediums in the t-shirts have we sold? And with those totals, we can discover how exactly our audience is purchasing and which sizes they purchase most so that when it comes to ordering future inventory for our clothing brand, we know exactly how to evenly distribute that. And I suggest that you do that with your own clothing brand. Look through what sizes are people ordering already if you've already made some sales for your clothing brand. And if you notice that, wow, most people are ordering large or most people are ordering extra large, then when you place another order, when you re-up that inventory, 
definitely be sure to order mostly those sizes. So the last thing that I wanna cover here is how exactly we track all this inventory for a clothing brand. How do we know how much of each item we have in stock at any given time and exactly how do we organize that? And honestly, this is a lot easier than you might think. All of this is done automatically through our website builder. And we use Wix for my own clothing brand. If you're using Shopify for your clothing brand, it's the exact same thing, which is that you can upload all of your inventory counts in each size to your website builder. As you get an order in, it automatically tallies away that exact item from your total count and it automatically is keeping track of how much inventory you have without you actually having to count it all the time and manage it yourself. The only thing that I'd say is that every month or so, especially during heavy seasons where we're selling a lot of clothing, we'll go through it all just to make sure that nothing kind of got lost. You know, if we're doing a giveaway contest or if we sold a whole bunch in person or something, it's important that we just double check to make sure everything's good so that, you know, people don't order things online that we don't actually have in stock. And if you do that once a month, you should be good. But generally, if you're using Shopify, if you're using Wix, any website builder, it keeps track of all that inventory for you so you really don't have to worry about it. I hope that this video really helped you out when it comes to running your own clothing brand and check out the teaser for my new marketing course that's coming out soon. Join the waitlist, clothingbrandmarketing.com. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I put a ton of effort into it and I can't wait to be launching it very, very soon. So check that out if you haven't. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have for apparel success. There's a link in the description. Follow the link, join us in the group and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.